Hey guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and a quick video here uh, for you guys. Another JTAG and Reset Glitch Hack tutorial here for you guys. I'm going to show you how you can access the Freestyle Dash 3. Uh, this is the web user interface on your PC or Mac or really any computer with a web browser you can access the Freestyle Dashboard uh, web interface on. This is very useful and I'll show you all the capabilities once I show you how to connect to it. So the first thing you need to do is get your IP address of your Xbox uh, Reset Glitch Hack or JTAG. Just go to Freestyle Dash and in the lower, lower left hand corner here we'll have our IP address. Once we have our IP address we'll go to our web browser. We're going to type that in here. Yours will either be a 192 or it'll start with a 10. That's how you know you have the correct IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.123, just easy enough for me to remember uh, for the Xbox here. We're going to type that in and you will get a login page. Now the login is going to be F3HTTP. Your password is going to be F3HTTP, all lowercase, that will be in the description below. Uh, in case you forget, go ahead and write it down and you can save it or you can remember the password in Chrome or whatever web browser you're using. So once again, the username and password is F3HTTP, all lowercase. I'll go ahead and paste it right there so you guys can see F3HTTP. That's going to be your username and password. Once you enter that, you'll get to your home page right here. And we'll see our profile that we're signed in as. We'll see our IP address once again. We'll see our CPU processor uh, utilization along with the graphics utilization along with the temperatures there. Uh, personally, any temperature under 60 degrees Celsius is a good temperature. I, if your temperatures went above 60 degrees Celsius, I would either ramp up your fans, clean out your Xbox 360, or take a look at it. Uh, you'll see your memory utilization and your case temperature, which is actually 30 degrees Celsius is actually, I'd say, pretty cold, depending on what you're doing. <clears throat> In this case, my Xbox is just uh, sitting here with Freestyle Dash 3 on it, as you can see. Nothing going on except for a few animations. We can get debug info here, so if you have a problem with your JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack, you can get debug info there. We have our settings where we can see our game paths along with what games we have. We can view database, I'm not going to go into detail on that. We can view our Xbox 360, Xbox Arcade, homebrew games, and we can even launch games from this. So let's say I want to launch Gears of War, I click launch, and it's going to go ahead and launch the game. If we go here, we're instantly loaded up. Uh, Gears of War on my Xbox. We can go to commands here. We can take a screenshot. So we're just going to take a screenshot of our Xbox here. Uh, this is, once again, if you have any errors, it may not work, being that the game is loaded up. But you can take screenshots here in case you have an error. You can get the error codes off, debug info, uh, your dash version, skin version, plugins, a kernel a debug log, all that information. You're not going to be using this for much unless you want to monitor your temperatures and just launch games off of your computer, though this is great for debugging, uh, great if you're having problems with your JTAG, Reset Glitch Hack, Xbox 360. You can come in here and see what the problems are. Hope this video helped you out guys, and it just cut off for me. Hope this video helped you out guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I hope this taught you how you can use your Freestyle Dash 3, uh, the web interface on your computer. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.